people, it's your boy Chick from Guna Eagle Eye coming to you again with a brand new video. This time it is a player ratings and review where I talk to you about the, the kind of action of the game that we just witnessed and doing player ratings. Now, normally I do this with a certain Lee Gunner. Lee Gunner, I don't know where he is. <laughs> so I'm hoping I hold on, hold on. Let me take care of this one second. I'm hoping that he'll come on at some point during this stream, but we'll see. But please do slap a like on this video. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. Road to 10K is firmly on, people. It's firmly on. And um, if anyone is, is by Lee Gunner, don't mind nudging him. <laughs> oh, man. We had a brief little chat afterwards. And then he went. And I was like, this guy's going to be late, isn't he? <laughs> but he is. So at some point, he will be dropping in into this. So bear, bear with us. Um, in terms of the game, well, um, I, I would say it is what it is. It, it wasn't necessarily the most entertaining game you'll ever watch. It didn't, it's not a game that fulfills you with a lot of confidence. It's not a game that, in spite of the fact that it's taken us into the top four, it's not a game that makes you think, oh my gosh, we are going to finish in the top four as a result. Um, but, you know, subsequently we've won the game. Um, and we won the game, I think, through individual performances rather than a good team performance. I think that that much can certainly be said. Um, I think Mikel Arteta, we need to look at, you know, just how he manages the game. Um, this was a guy who made it, a, a, a big deal in this at the start of the um, earlier in the week, talking about how he really watched Sheffield United closely. I thought, okay, cool. At least you know, I get why he'd have to look at him closely because they're a team that play in a very unique way. First of all, they're quite a physical outfit, but secondly, they are a team that plays with overlapping uh, centre backs, um, which is why I was bamboozled to see Eddie start. Because I think if you're going to have overlapping centre backs, you want someone like a Lacazette who is, who can just be very kind of central when he wants to be and hold the ball up well and be strong to that physical challenge. Whereas Eddie is a little, is still learning how to lead the line by himself. Um, and I think against these guys, it was just for me, it was just a, a, a weird, it was weird to start him up top by himself. I think the other surprise was, was um, Granite Xhaka, not because Granite Xhaka deserved his place or anything like that. It's just I never thought I'd see him drop for a game. Um, and I actually thought um, largely uh, Mohamed El Nene and uh, Danny Sabayos played very, very well together. I thought they were, um, I thought they had a pretty good understanding. But like, my, like Omar says, I think the first half, and by the way, uh, the Mar the Chronicle. Thank you for your donation. I did see it earlier. For your impression during the stream, your man and match. <laughs> Thank you, brother. I appreciate that. Um, yeah, I I think for, for, for me personally, um, I thought that we tried to manage the game as best as we possibly could um, in the first half without really creating much. Yes, I don't think they created much. And I think as a result of it, it was just a boring game. I think me and Lee at some point will just crack a joke just to get us through the first half of the game. Um, and it was a really difficult, it was, it was a drag. It was a, it was a drag to get through the game. Um, and then as the second half came on, I think Pepe came on. And I just had a feeling that he'll turn the game. Um, and he did. He turned the game. As soon as he came on, he stuck a Bamiyang up top, which I think helped. Yes, I think Bamiyan does struggle to hold on to the ball up top by himself. But the one thing that that did was Sheffield United now had to change their overlapping centre-backs tactic. They had to change it because now they had an actual direct threat in a Bamiyan who's very good at accelerating over a short distance or short period or a short distance of time. Sure. Sorry, a short space um, of time. Oh, apparently, Lee hasn't got the link, so hold on, bear with me. Let me send him the link. I'm fairly sure I sent it to him. Hold on, people, hold on, hold on, hold on. 
the set in the lane. Try now. Especially if he's watching this, try now. Uh, so yeah, I think I think that didn't help. Um, so I so I think once they changed his position um, centrally, it gave us a new threat. Sheffield United had to react to that, and subsequently, as if by a miracle, Willian got more space in that first half. He barely got any because their 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 wing backs pushed quite high up naturally. Um, so if you notice, every time William was just giving the ball away, giving the ball away, soon as Aubameyang came on, that just stopped. It also helped that I think William almost had like a, like a, played on that left-hand side and was able to cut in and had a lot more freedom to be able to do certain things that he wasn't able to do in the first half. I didn't think it was a good first half from William, I must admit. But I think as the game went on and has, as he had more space, he was able to have more influence on the game. Um, but I thought Pepe came on and lit lit the show up. Came on, um, him and Saka immediately had uh, uh, combined pretty well um, when he came on, and I thought he just changed the game on the head. And I thought in the end we deservedly won that game. Um, let me just quickly check once again. Keep saying apparently keep saying to Lee. He can't get in, which is annoying. So I've sent him the link like eight times. So hold on, guys. For some reason it's not letting Lee Lee in. So I have to try something different. I'm going to copy the link. There you go. Send it to the phone now. So hopefully it should be here soon. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to go through the man in the match and, and, and things like that. But I think for me, there were standout players. I thought Saka was a standout player. I thought Sobios was a standout player. I thought Gabriel was a standout player. I thought, obviously, Pepe was a standout player. Um, yeah, I would say probably that's more or less it. So you can kind of, you may be able to guess my man in the match out of those guys. Um, but let me know who you thought was a standout player. I don't think Bellerin was a standout player, even though I thought, yes, he did get two assists. One of them you can question was just a pass in which the other player ended up doing something special with it. Um, but actually, I thought in the game, I thought he was kind of average. I don't think he really did all that much, to be perfectly honest. So I, I think that I think that's Bellerin. Um and in terms of, um, you know, anyone else, I don't think anyone else particularly had that strong, of a, that strong of a game. So, anyway, I guess we'll just end up seeing what happens in the end. Um, for those people asking where Lee is, I haven't got a clue. I honestly haven't got a clue. I've sent him the link on WhatsApp. I've sent him... Normally, I send him the link via email. I've done that twice. He reckons he's not picked that up. So, I haven't got a clue what's going on. So I've sent it to him, so we'll, we'll just keep going. I've sent it to him via WhatsApp now, so hopefully at some point he will pick that up. Uh, so, yeah, I no doubt he will He will pick it up when he picks it up. In the meantime, I'm going to go into my player rating. Guys, please do slap a like on this video if you haven't already. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't already, and that would be fantastic. Um... Remember, guys, I also have a member stream later tonight. So to Lippin's uh, question, that would be the place to do it if you're a member. Um, happily have you on here. Um, and we can do that then. Uh, in the meantime, let's go through the player ratings. And hopefully, Lee won't miss the entire show. <laughs> but for those people keep bitching that I should do the show by myself, I guess it looks like you're starting to have your way. So there you go. Uh, in goal, uh, let's talk about Bert Leno. Um, for me, he had a dodgy moment with him and David Luiz in the first half. Uh, then grew into the game a bit better. And there was nothing too dramatic after that. Um, I thought Bert Leno played all right in the second half. So I'll give Bert Leno... I'll give him a six. I, I don't remember him doing making any amazing saves or anything like that. So 
I'll just I'll, I'll give him a six out of ten. And for those people who've been wondering where my man is, all of a sudden he's popped up out of nowhere. Some dodgy link you sent me, you know. I had to send no, no. that from WhatsApp to my email myself to get in. I don't know what's going on there because I sent that to you twice. Oof. Twice. So I don't know where, where you been. <laughs> but anyway, I've done my little assessment of the game. What about you? What you say? Um, it was boring, wasn't it, really? Let's be real here. Uh, but we got the three points. That's all that matters. And mm. um, I thought Saka did all right. I thought um, Pepe changed the game when he came on. Um, Aubameyang looked better when he was in the middle. Who knew? Sabayas, for me, was man of the match. Um, Gabriel looked solid again. Yeah, it was all right. Mm. It, 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 El Nenny. <laughs> El Nenny, you know. Um, good, yeah, though. I thought it was all right. I thought it was all right. We weren't great, let's be real. It was boring, mm. slow, methodical football. Uh, mm. As soon as Pepe came on, we changed and went with a Bamiang up front, William in behind, and then Saka and Pepe. All of a sudden, Danny Ceballos got more um, uh, Danny Ceballos got more time and space, and we looked miles better. But it's it's mad. Who knew? You play players in their right positions, and we look better. <laughs> like, <laughs> I'm not a genius or anything like that. I ain't got no coaching badges, but uh, you play Pepe right, you play Saka left, you put Aubameyang up front, and all of a sudden we look like a proper outfit, isn't it? Great. So there Great. we go. All right. Well, I've gone into player ratings. Um, by the way, Man United already have a penalty. It's literally kicked off. They've One, already minute. <laughs> One minute in against Spurs. Bruno, Bruno Fernandes behind it. Let's see. Let's see if he ends up scoring it. I know these lot will be will be telling us anyway. Um, Do you know what's funny? People cussing Man U for penalties all the time, yeah. Yeah. Do you know why they get so many penalties? Because they're always in the box. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's not rocket science, true. is it? True, true. And I have to. There you go. Bruno with his little skip, and then one 0 And Carter, Carter is correct. You know, he was bitching during the game about Aubameyang playing up front. Stuck him yeah. up front. That's what happened. <laughs> yeah. As soon as he as soon as he moved up front, a minute later, he pings that ball off to uh, to Bellerin, who sets up um, Saka for a goal. And that was kind of what I was saying before you came. It, it wasn't even like he was amazing up front, but all of a sudden, Sheffield United had to react to that, which yep. then gave us space to be able to do what we do. So um, uh, yeah, I, I I do think it, it's nice that at least Arteta has it in him. To play to play Bami out uh, up top. Um, all right, let's go with uh, our back three. Let's start off with Gabriel. Um, another solid game out of Gabriel. I'm I'm starting to be really impressed by this kid. Started on the right hand side of things, and I don't know maybe he was struggling to receive the ball on the right hand side of the fence. So I think him and David Luiz swapped, which I don't think was necessarily the best thing for Luiz. I think he struggled on that side. But um, from Gabriel's point of view, playing in the centre of that three, he seemed to really enjoy it. And I'd give, I'd give Gabriel an eight. I thought he was good. I thought he was really good. Um, I'll give him. I'll give him a seven. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'll give him a seven for Leno. What did you score, Leno? A six. Yeah, I'll go, I'll go, I was going to say six. I don't think he had a lot to do, if I'm honest. Yeah, um, I thought a lot of people say seven, eight, and I'm like, you didn't really make a save. In fact, he, he couldn't, he couldn't save that. I, I, I know I was only bantering in the watch along. Yeah, I was yeah. like, oh, number one, you know, brother. He can no keeper saving that. That was a great, that was a great hit, and that was Tierney's fault because he was caught in two minds. So we'll come to yeah. Tierney in a minute, but but uh, yeah, he couldn't save that. I'll give him a six. I'll give Gabriel a seven. Um, that makes it even like today, like he was up against some big physical guys up front. Yeah. Right, and that makes oh, it even more. One one. What Tottenham has scored? Yeah. Who? Who scored? Um, who's that black geezer? I wish I could see his name because I don't recognise his face. Is that Serge Aurier? Surely not. Probably Bergwijn or Aurier, one of them. So bad, I don't know who he is. Anyway, yeah, I, uh, thought, um, I thought um, Gabriel, he was up against some physical guys up front. 
and he stood up to the physical challenge, man, which makes it like even more like, why did you? Why didn't you play this guy against Liverpool? Yeah, because oh, if you played then, him against then, Liverpool, he then, might have then, actually yeah. stopped Firmino getting in and around and popping the balls off. And Dombele scored the goal by and the way. Dombele, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so yeah, I'll give I'll give him a seven. I'll give him a seven. Okay. Um, David Luiz. I thought my man was struggling in the first half. Um, second half I thought was a little bit better. Um, I think it. I think long term Arteta is really going to have to decide how he's going to play Gabriel and how he's going to play Luis because for me. He seems to be in love with Kieran Tierney as a as this. Who is um, Let's be real. Um, and maybe it might just be time to. I know Gabriel doesn't look amazingly fast, but I think he may just need to just play him, bite the bullet, and play him on that left hand side of the three, and um, fill in the rest because Louis can only play centrally. He's finished as a player, so if you're going to insist that he plays, play him in his correct position. Because as soon as you moved into the right hand side of things, yeah, liability. I think he got better the longer the game went on. Yeah, but, I do. I, I do think the second half was better. I do. But I'm going to give Louise a five. Um, yeah, I'd go with that. I'd go uh, with that. Your boy team he was great. First half, he was probably a one. Yeah. Yeah. Second yeah. half, I thought he was a lot, lot better. If I'm honest, I thought he was yeah. miles better. Um, but yeah, I'll go with that. I'll go with a five. And to be honest, I'll give your boy Tierney a five as well. Uh, I was Ooh, full of praise harsh. initially. You're harsh. I do. I was full of praise initially. Um, and then I saw, almost as though somebody wanted to prove me wrong. As soon as I started praising him, started giving the ball away and starting missing some of his crosses. And then I, I fought the goal as well. Um, so I, I, I feel like, you know what? I'll change my mind. I'll give him a six. But I, I don't think he was necessarily... It, again with Tierney, maybe it's time to stop playing them centre back and play them as a left. left yeah, back. who knew you play you you, you play a centre back? Um, sorry, you play a left back at centre back. Like, mm. what's that all about? Mm. And the reason I'm going to give him a six, yeah, um, I think he could have done better on their goal. Yeah, he was kind of caught he between two minds because he had the guy on the overlap. And as soon as he see that guy on the overlap, he stopped. That split right. second gave him the chance to score. Spurs are yeah, two one up, by the way. Hell of a game. Yeah. Spurs are two one up, by the way. No, whoa, we're missing a mad game, you know. Yeah, no, should have done a watch along for this one. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Son, their best player. But um, but I think as soon as he see um, as soon as he see the guy out the corner of his eye, he was thinking, right? Do I track that runner? And by the time he kind of stopped that millisecond where he stopped, that gave McGoldrick. It was McGoldrick, wasn't it? It gave McGoldrick that yeah. chance to then go right. I'm going to have a shot here. And if he hadn't have took his eye off of him, and con which he should have done, he should have looked at him, of course, yeah. But as soon as he did that, listen, it was a great hit. It was a great goal, yeah. But I think that um, I think that he could have done a little bit better. He probably shouldn't have took. He shouldn't have put his eye on him, maybe. But I'll give him a six. I thought his crossing was decent today. I liked Tierney, man. I like the way he whips the balls in the box. Kind of stupid at times when you got a midget up front, but. Um, at least he's uh, at least he's trying to put balls in the box, which is something I've been crying out for for time, mate. Mm. So yeah. Okay. Um, let's go with uh, Hector Bellerin first of all. Um, Fresh up on the back of I, check this Orbino, the Twitter account, mm. the st statistician who works mm. for Opta. Hector Bellerin has now got the same amount of assists as James Rodriguez this season. I quote tweeted it. I said, Mustafi had more than Ozil last season. What's your fucking point? <laughs> like, come back to me in May about... Do you know what? Years. That's your one. Have you ever followed um, that LT Arsenal? I that am guy, following. That guy bats so hard for Hector Bellerin. I, it's like, is this guy a relative of yours or something? Because I, 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 I so hard for Aaron Ramsey as well. Jesus Christ. It was like a fucking Ramsey dedicated page for time. Flipping heck. Uh, so I can only imagine what you said today. And I, I, I'll i be honest, I don't think he played that well. I, I'll be real with you. Um, I thought, actually, I actually thought he started off the game quite well and then dipped and then ended up getting a couple of assists. So and this one's going to be the mark. I'm going to go with a six out of ten because I do think he started the first ten minutes, I thought he started well. 
And then he started slipping back to Zoolander mode. And then he got, I thought, was a really good assist for the first goal. Yeah. Really good assist for the first goal. The second goal was just a pass. Let's just be real here. Um, but other than that, kind of typical Hector Bellerin performance. So I'll give him a I'll give him a six out of ten for me. Um, I'll do the same. I'll do the same. The only reason, because um, people go, oh, you gave Tierney the same score. Uh, yeah, look at the difference in caliber of the player. Look at look how many crosses Tierney was whipping in. Look how many times he was getting the ball and bombing forward. But then he was also in his defensive spot to block the crosses. Yeah, uh, Bellerin nine. You're on crack. <laughs> <laughs> I like you, boy, but you're on I knew, crack. I knew there would be some nines and eights. Bro, so um, I yeah, some that's, that second assist, I put a tweet up saying um, assist stats are, are mad. The first one was a great cross from Bellerin. Great cross. Yeah, really good cross. And he put it on a plate for Saka. That's an assist. Yeah, you put a sick ball into the box, three yards out. He can't miss. The second one, you're just outside the center circle, bruv. Man's picked the ball up and run 40 yards and then finessed it in the bottom bins. How's that an assist? It's like Mustafi when Gabriel run the whole length of Stanford Bridge. Mustafi gets an assist for that. Yeah, yeah that's not an assist. He just headed clearance from a William corner. Bosh, and Martinelli's run the length of the field. You get an assist. Yeah. Yeah. The first one was class. I, I can't lie. That was a great cross. That was a great yeah. cross. Was His overall cool. performance. Bro, are people forgetting that man got skinned by McGoldrick? Yeah. Yeah. He got sent back to fucking Barcelona, bro. <laughs> yeah. Defensively, I didn't think he was great. I, I didn't. I Defensively, didn't... he's a joke. Yeah. Offensively, oh. he ain't that great. But today, he got he got one assist for me, uh, not two. Uh, and I'll give him a six. Okay. Um, Spurs are all over uh, United here, by the way. Could it be a third one? Um, all right, let's talk about Saka. Um, Saka, for me, was this close to be my man in the match. And I could see why he was skies, but it was this close for me. Um, the only reason that he's not my man in the match were there was a couple of times where, in my mind, I just about decided Saka was man in the match. Gave the ball away a couple of times. I was like, this is a fine margins of me. I, I, I count all these. So just to show you I'm fair. I am always fair. So obviously this is a week where he was called up to England. Well, good luck to you. Yeah. <laughs> Not salty at all, no. Not salty at all. No, no, no. <laughs> um, so yeah, this is a week that obviously he'll be celebrating hard. He's in the England squad. He's playing well. We think he should be in the team no matter what. Um, I, I liked his performance. I'm going to give him a 7 out of 10 today. I'm going to give him an 8. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I can see why he gave him an 8. And actually, I'm going to change my mark for Gabriel. I'm going to give him a 7. I'm going to give him a 7. Um, let's talk about Dani Ceballos. My man in the match. You muted yourself. You muted yourself. <laughs> it says you're muted, just so you know. I'm not muted yet. Ah, okay, I'm back. I don't know what happens. <laughs> uh, yeah, Saka, Saka, I'll give an eight. Yeah. Um, Sabayas, I'm going to give an eight. I ain't giving him a nine. Yeah, Sabayas, I'll give an eight. Yeah, mm. even though he didn't score and Saka did. Mm. Yeah, I thought Ceballos, um, he played a great ball into Aubameyang in that second half. Yes. In, which Aubameyang just missed. Again, Aubameyang, penalty spot, should have scored nearly. But um, I thought he dictated everything. As soon as Pepe came on and we changed formation, like and personnel, yeah, I thought Ceballos was just class, mate. Absolutely brilliant. Understand. And it gave him more space of having William running at people in the centre which meant yeah. Sabayas could pick the passes better. I thought he controlled the last hour he was on the pitch. Yeah. I, I thought he was brilliant. And as soon as he came off, you felt it. Not just because it was Xhaka. And yeah, a little bit because it was Xhaka, but it was more actually him and not his influence wasn't on the pitch anymore. So you could see it. You could see that there was a difference there. Um, I, 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 he was my man in the match as well. So I'll give him a, 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 an 8 out of 10. For that 
like you said, I don't think anyone was worthy necessarily of a nine, but eight out of ten for me. Um, Mohamed El Nene, I'm going to give him a seven. He's another one who I thought was good. And listen, we may need him at this rate. I'll tell you, it doesn't look like we're getting parted, so we may Mohammed need him. Mohamed party, baby. We may need him at this rate. So I, I think, <laughs> you know, I don't know what. I don't know what he's been taking recently, what performance enhancing drugs he's taken. Yeah. So let it keep going. Let it keep going. Oh, That's not brother. Let's just keep it moving. Just keep it going. Uh, but yeah, I think uh, Mohamed El Nene, I'm going to give him a 7 out of 10. What about yourself? Ah, oh, Mohamed El Nene. I'll give him a 7. I'll give him a 7. Okay. Yeah, I'll give him a seven. I thought he was all right. He's just a limited footballer, bruv. It's as simple as that. Yeah. He ain't got nothing about him. Just pass the ball sideways, backwards, the odd 10-yard pass forward, gets involved, wins free kicks, buys free kicks, makes free kicks. He ain't all that, is he? But, yeah, mm -hmm. I'll give him a seven. I thought he played all right today, man. Okay. Man, lots of people were loving Danny today. Play for man. <laughs> Fair play. Uh, up top, the captain, Abamian. Abamian. Um, anyway. Five. Yeah. Anonymous on the left wing. Yeah. Went up top and all of a sudden things start happening. But that wasn't necessarily just him. He got a pre-assist, if you count them, because mm -hmm. they're a thing these days, isn't they? Mm -hmm. um, but for me, yeah, I'll give him a five. I don't think he was great today. Yeah, I think he had, he had one that he, was, he had that shot in the first half, didn't he? Yeah, Other than that, yeah. what did he really do? Yeah, um, yeah, I'll, I'll give him a five. So I think you're right. I think give him a five. Um, William on the right hand side. William, I'll give William. Uh, what did I give William? I'll put it on there. Five. Okay. Five. I thought he was crap in the first half. More generous um, than me. As soon as he went to number 10, floating around, he was more direct. He could go left, he could go right, he could carry on. That made space for Sabayas, which obviously improved us. And um, all of a sudden, we looked a lot better. Mm. But based on 60-odd minutes of him being on that pitch and the, on the wing, absolutely shocking. Five. Mm. Everything you said but four for me. I thought it was that bad in the first half. And he improved to a four in that second half. Because I, I did think he started to find space, uh, but I'm going to give him a four out of ten. Um, up top, Eddie and Ketia, I'm going to give him a one two. I thought he was better not on the pitch, to be perfectly honest. Um, and I don't necessarily think that's his fault. <laughs> I just think that Arteta, or, you know, our better side, our better side. I I did preface our bet by saying, I know, twisted. I think in is shit. Just so you know. <laughs> um, but I just think Arteta just has too much faith in, in Eddie and Katia and, 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 and to be honest I actually thought it was one of his worst games I completely forgot he was on the pitch after half an hour until so, I think I he think had a flick header didn't he? Name. you said his name I was like, yeah oh, he yeah. had that little flick header didn't he yeah 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 yeah. yeah. I think yeah, it might, my daughter could have headed harder yeah so <laughs> yeah I'll give him a one to be honest. I'm going I'm to give him a two. The reason I'm going to give him a two is because he put his shirt on the right way around both halves. <laughs> That's it. Other than Great. that, shocking. Can't oh, definitely hold the ball. Pitch, for sure. yeah, he can't hold the ball. He can't run in behind. He's got no movement. His first touch is shocking. Unless it's a, a tap in from five yards out, he's dog shit. Not good enough. Okay. Two. Uh, the subs. Uh, Pepe, Nicola Pepe. Peps. Peps, baby. What What do we tell everyone about Peps? I'm just saying. I'm Stop saying. beating your chest. Peps. An, another, <laughs> another, another one who was very close yeah. to getting man of the match for me. Bro, I'm going to give him an eight, you know. I'm going to give, him, give him an eight. eight. Well, me yeah, too. the same as Saka and Sabayas, but he weren't man of the match for yeah. me. But he did change the game. Yeah. And... Um, yeah, definitely an eight. All the more reason to play him all the time, isn't it, really? Let's be real here. Yep, hundred percent. I I just think people. Ho I'm hoping he stays at Arsenal long enough to show people that I, that he uh, that he's a quality player that we know he is. We know Duke Danny. Yep. 
Um, but it is what it is. So let's see. Uh, so Pepe in eight. Uh, who else came on? Granite Jacker. I didn't even know he was on the pitch. I'm giving him a four, bro. Yeah, I was going to give him a three. <laughs> I actually thought things dropped considerably. Like, soon, yeah. soon as soon as he came on, they scored. Yeah, yeah. So maybe with three, fuck him. Um, and who else came on? Uh, I've given Maisie Maitland Niles. Yeah, I've, I've given Maitland Niles a three, but that's only because he weren't on the pitch for very long. Yeah, I'm not going to bother Martin. Yeah. All right. So over to you, Mikhail Wenger. What does he get for you? Uh, Mikhail Dyche. Mikhail Dush. Right, you you, you think Mikhail I'm joking, Dush. Rob? When I do my player ratings at uh, nine o'clock tonight, yeah, and uh, everyone watching, get over to Flick. You can vote for the player ratings. They're the player ratings that I'll be dropping at nine o'clock tonight. Um, right. so, yeah, Very the title, style, we're doing player ratings. Yeah, the title is fully going to be Mikhail Dyche. Yeah, just to trigger everyone. <laughs> um, Arteta. Poof. I'm going to give him a five. And the reason I'm giving him a five is because he brought Pepe on. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm, I'm giving him a six for that reason. For that reason. But I've the starting like, 11 was wrong. Yes. Yeah. We were shit for 60 minutes. But he brought Pepe on. Early. Yeah, but Pepe should have started. Oh, I agree. But listen, we got a group. The only thing I would say is one thing I did say right before that was. The one thing I loved about Emre, my favourite thing about Emre was, even if you get the starting lineup wrong, this motherfucker will have a surprise for you during the game. Oh, like, bro, man, we're talking people team. after half an hour. Yeah, you, you, you take <laughs> on down there. Two, you take off two people. Treble subs, you, you know. Yeah, at half time, that was just mm. the sort of person, sort the sort of coach that he was. But for me, I liked that because mm. it left things very unpredictable when he did it like that, and. Um, you know, him seeing him bring Pepe on that early, you clearly recognise you should have played Pepe from the start. He did it. We won the game. We got three points. I'll give him a six, which for me is the highest mark you can get when you win a game, but I still don't agree with most of the things you did wrong. That's kind of my logic for that. Yeah, he should have picked Pepe. He should have started <laughs> Pepe. He should have started Tierney left wing back. He shouldn't be playing five at the back plus two DMs at home to that team anyway. Yeah. The patterns of play were non-existent. We had no shots for fucking half an hour. Absolutely piss poor performance. And then Pepe comes on and boom, 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 boom. Yeah. We then go and have two nice little patterns of play. We win the game. We then concede a goal and then they throw their keeper up and it's just panic stations in the box. It's always funny when you see the goalkeeper jogging up in it. It's like... You know it's going to cause dramas, bro. Yes. Yeah. Like... <laughs> the ball actually comes to him. It. It's just like, oh, no. And the funny thing is, because goalkeepers are so tall, they and they're, and they're in a different colour shirt, it always looks even funnier. They just start jogging up. like <laughs> You're just <laughs> like, bro. I'm surprised more goalkeepers don't score goals, you know. It's mad. Yeah, me too. Me too. Who was the goalkeeper? What was his name? The uh, goalkeeper that used to take free kicks. What was his name? Uh, the Colombian one or the was it, was it Chile Chilever? I can't remember. He used to take free kicks and penalties, bro. Yeah, <laughs> it's like man's pinging in free kicks like Beckham, bro. <laughs> yeah, but then if it hits the wall, you're fucked because he's got to leg it all the way back. Got to leg it all the way back, yeah. <laughs> but oh, but no, I thought um, he's he's lucky he's got a five today. He's lucky he's got a five today. I, I thought he was. Um, I thought he was uh, starting eleven was a joke. That's a Senny, or, there was another one. There was a different one. I'm sure it was somebody Shilavere. Shilavere? Yeah, it was Shilavere. See, I know what I'm talking about. My guy knows real one. Come on, see, I knew it was him. It's South American boy. I know what I'm talking about. There's a there was a few of them to be fair. South Americans are kind of like my uh, Nigerian keepers. They don't start off. If you if you're a Nigerian keeper, it's because you were the worst outfield player. Not because you grew up wanting to be a goalkeeper. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, yeah, you're in goal, mate. Yeah. <laughs> right now, you, your, your punk ass is in goal. You're too slow out for you. So, uh, yeah. All right, then. Well, it is what it is. Um, we won. It wasn't pretty. Just about. It was, it was a grind. Um, but we got the job done. Um, for those wondering, just to remind you guys, I will be doing... 
a member stream tonight. It will be at 10 p.m. Um, so make sure you guys do catch that uh, for 10 p.m. tonight. No doubt there will be a lot of things for people to talk about. I wonder what there will be for people to talk about 24 hours before the transfer window. Potentially, right. are, you, are you around tomorrow? tomorrow? Are you around tomorrow? Um, yes, I am. I am. Yeah. I'll be doing. Uh oh, ah, oh, son messed that up. Could be three one. Uh, yeah. Why? Well, I'm gonna do a deadline day stream, innit? Yeah, 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 not yeah, all yeah. Day. I'm not going all day. Fuck that. I ain't doing an all day one. Yeah. Yeah. But I'll do. So, um, what time's the window shut? Eleven. Eleven. Okay. So, I could do. I could do all the way up to the window closes and then afterwards for maybe half an hour, 40 minutes. So I could do maybe nine till 11, do the last two hours, but then right. I'll do a couple of hours in the day as well. Okay. Yeah. So if you're around, um, just, I'll send you the link, just jump on for 20 minutes or so if you're about. Only because I've had the last week off work, I'm expecting tomorrow to be a bit mad at work. So hmm. um, nothing during the day, but um, anything after work hours, come in. I'm up for that. Yeah. Yeah. Anything after work hours, like anything Sorry, I've got you muted. So I've got you turned down so low, so the feedback ain't so bad off this mic. I can oh, barely right. hear you. And then, and then when I'm not fully concentrating, I can't hear you. So I'm like, oh, yeah, sorry. Right. Uh, <laughs> Don't worry, bro. I'll be getting a new Mac soon. Yeah. Like, we're profiting <laughs> off wins these days, mate. Yeah. I think that's eight straight wins, isn't it? Yeah. Um, <laughs> other than Liverpool, take the Liverpool. So eight wins in nine. We're profiting off wins, bro. I will have a, I love a ten grand MacBook fucking Pro. <laughs> Yeah, don't worry about that, bruv. Yeah, come on. Oh, Win yeah. central, bruv. Yeah, yeah. Arteta's is a G, bruv. A, G, a genius. Yeah, but yeah, cool, man. Okay, and then I'll obviously also do a transfer uh, uh, a day thing, but mine's typically, I do one at the start of the day and one at the end of the day. So, um, yeah, I, I don't do too, I don't do it for too long. So, yeah, just let me know when you're ready and I'm, I'm good to go. Yeah, man. Yeah. Right, yeah, I'll be yeah. doing. Uh, I'll be doing a few hours in the day, and then uh, I'll do from probably nine through to about midnight. Plus, so, I'm not expecting anything other than Georgino. Hey, bro, Georgino, Zinchenko, and drink water. Told you. Probably Oscar as well. Just, just for shits and giggles. <laughs> or Lamar, Lamar alone. I forgot about that one. Is yeah. there any other dead Brazilians in the Premier League? Uh, what about Bernard at Everton? We could get him, couldn't we? He runs quick, doesn't he? Yeah, our fans are fucking love him. Anyone who runs quick is fucking, oh, he's a baller. He can <laughs> run quick. Is it what else? Uh, maybe Philippe Anderson. There's another one. Although I would take Philippe Anderson. I think he's a good footballer. Yeah. There's a, mm. there's got to be a few more dead Brazilians that can run quick in the Premier League, isn't there? Yeah, you'd, you'd hope so. You'd hope so. By the way, Man United are holding on for dear life here. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to uh, I'm gonna stick it on, mate. I'm going to go and watch it. Um, and, uh, I'm going to... Eat my All chili. Right, I cooked a chili in the slow cooker yesterday. Boy, yeah. Uh, no, was it yesterday? Day before yesterday. I put it in. I put it in the freezer, bruv. Yeah, I free, I've done so much, bruv. I feed like for a skinny guy. Yeah, I swear, bruv. It's only me here. Yeah, wifey's back home now. Yeah, bruv. This fucking slow cooker, bruv. I must have done so much food. It was nearly overflowing. I was like, how am I gonna fucking how? Yeah. Luckily, I've got some little plastic containers and all that. Yeah. So I just. Scooping it into these containers, I was like, let it cool down. Now, just freeze it in it. Yeah, so I'm gonna do some rice and uh, and eat my chili con carne. Oh, yeah. Martial's just been sent off, just so you Martial, know. yeah. Oh, washed up Jose, you know, yeah. Goodness gracious, it's this yesterday. Fun. Anyone who wants to take a bet with me that washed up Jose finishes above Don Arteta, come, I'll take your bet, I'll take your money. Light work, <laughs> yeah. Light All right, work. I, 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 we're out of here. Um. Tell you what, the only manager more under pressure than Arteta at the moment is Oli. Flipping Hank. Uh, but we are out of here. Um, Roy Hodgson. Oh. Roy of the Wovers down at Palace. I wouldn't have him either or Moyes. Yeah, but... Did... Oh, yeah, I can see... Oh, but my man's made a meal out of it. He got yeah, a little I'm good. Slap. At the time, they got a red. I'm going to go and watch the game. <laughs> he got a little slap. If you see the way the men are forced to the ground. Oh hey, my look, look at wifey in the chat. Not that I ate chili when I was there. That's because you were cooking. I have to cook for I have to fend for myself. Do you do a good chili? Guys, guys do tend to do not saying they do better chilies than girls. But Bruv, we hold our own. I, I, I cooked once for I cooked once for myself in six months, yeah, from March to when she went back home, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I swear she was she was like chef 
cooking in the kitchen and everything every day, bruv. Yeah, I was just like, boy, I'm doing streams. Get us a beer, babe. It's like, boom. Now I have to fend for myself, bruv. It's like, what's going on here? To be fair, the other half did the same thing when I went on holiday. Yeah, she knows cool. there's dentists out here, yeah? Like, <laughs> This is why when, well, very quickly, when people go, oh, yeah, buck tooth prick, yeah? Wife is a dentist, bruv, yeah? Don't worry about that. If I want to get my, it's, it's cost price, bruv, yeah? <laughs> hey, trust, when I do do that, we're dropping the car DB. I've got a bag and fix my teeth. <laughs> yeah, <just laughs> <don't know more. laughs> oh, gosh. On that note, let's get up out of here. Uh, guys, please just continue sticking the likes on this video as we see Spurs smash United. Oh my gosh, it's 3 1 now. And wow, uh, he's Kane is in my fantasy league. He's in my fantasy league. Oh, well. you've got a Spurs player in your fantasy league. You're a Spurs fan. I feel I don't I want to win, bro. <laughs> Especially in the league that I have as well, money's on the line. So I could not care less. Right, they'll have Pochettino as manager soon anyway. Whoever sacks their manager first out of uh, Man United and Chelsea is getting potched, bro. <laughs> it's true. All of a sudden, they're a bit better. It's true. It's true. <laughs> uh, but yeah. All right, guys. We are out of here. Uh, take care. Enjoy your Sunday evening. We'll be back later through our individual shows. Peace. Jorginho in. Oh, gosh. No. <laughs>